Hi and welcome to another episode of the Border Hookups Go RVing. Today we are going to talk about Cheyenne Mountain. Located just south of Colorado Springs, Colorado. One of the most amazing state parks that we've ever had the privilege of staying at. So we're going to talk a little bit about the hiking, the biking, the, the scenes. The we're zoo. even going to go to the zoo. Don't give away the farm yet. <laughs> Don't give away the zoo yet. So come along you guys and we'll show you what we're talking about. Colorado Springs at uh, Cheyenne Mountain and we did a little bit of biking but that was really hard. Our lungs were burning. Oh my gosh. Pretty I, good. Yeah I did not expect that and you said it was the elevation. I say it's just because we haven't biked much, um, but it feels so good to get back out there. And now, hiking. We're gonna do a little hiking. We saw a sign, talked about bears and bobcats. Yes. Yeah. And uh, do we know what to do if we come across a bear or a bobcat? You shove the person that you're with closer to the animal and then you exit the, <laughs> exit the area immediately. Yeah, I should have known that was coming. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. No. As they say, you don't have to run outrun the bear. You just have to outrun the person that you're with. <laughs> That's the way it works. think that we should follow the directions on the sign and uh, make yourself as big as possible yep. and make noise and you know uh, talk in a very meaningful voice and back away slowly you don't run you don't play dead um, so we'll see what happens though you may not have to play <laughs> dead if I come across a bear or a bobcat I don't know what I'll do if you come across a snake I don't know what you'll do so here's the thing I lost 45 pounds and we couldn't have come to Cheyenne Mountain before that when I could have looked bigger. <laughs> so I lose 45 pounds and then we come out here and they tell you to look bigger. <laughs> this is horrible timing. We spent two long years researching, watching YouTube videos, planning to be out here um, as full-time RVers. And we're just sitting here talking about how it's worth it. I asked uh, Dave if it was worth it. What did you say? 
Said absolutely. We would go for these long walks, even in the winter, and we would just talk about it. What we wanted to do, how we were going to do it, um, what we would do for work, where we would go. What if we didn't like it? You know, don't be afraid to try it, be afraid not to try it. And I'm just really happy that we tried it. Yeah. <laughs> big rocks, big rocks. Oh, Did you almost fall? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> That's okay. It would have been, we would have gone uh, viral. viral for sure. <laughs> Dave falls flat on his face. That could have been the other end, I think. Good, how are you? Good. I feel great. Good. My legs feel it. <laughs> yeah. It'd be uh, good to do this like every day. Be in pretty good shape. So. Absolutely. So we're gonna head back to the car. Yeah, we're gonna head back and we're gonna go grill. I think some chops. Uh, maybe have a cocktail. Let's, see. Let's do it. This is cool, but what do we get to do tomorrow? Tomorrow we're gonna go to the zoo, to the Cheyenne Mountain Zoo, and we've heard that we get to pet giraffes, and Dave is really excited about petting the giraffes. Huge I'll giraffe tell fan. <laughs> tell you, I've never seen one in my entire life up close, well, even <laughs> far away. Uh-huh. So this will be good, excited to go. Cheyenne Mountain Zoo, 6,714. Pretty cool because they let us in the goat pen. You can walk right in here and see all the goats. 
uh, they didn't do the same for the moose pen, the grizzly bear pen, or the mountain lion pen. We came to see the grizzly bear, but I think the grizzly bear is staying in the shade. It's really hot, and apparently the grizzly bear just doesn't want to be out in the sun. I don't blame the grizzly bear. He has a nice area, though. Hi. Hi. What's your favorite part of the zoo so far? Uh, I would have to say the giraffes, being that close to them, up close, and being able to feed them. And I really wanted to pet them though, but uh, apparently they don't really like to be pet. They just want your food and then they want to leave. Actually, they stare at you a lot too. A lot like humans. And what was your favorite part of the zoo? My favorite part of the zoo is probably the elephants. I like how slow they move and they can't even see their eyes and the way they twirl um, the straw around and then put it in their mouths and they twirl it and they like sweep with their trunks and then eat that. Sorry, eat that. That's a pretty good impression. Yeah, not bad. You could be an elephant. Thanks, honey. <laughs> Hey everybody, thanks for watching another episode of the Border Hookups Go RVing and please, please, please remember to subscribe and to ding that bell so that we can let you know when we have new episodes coming out. And if you liked what you saw in this episode, please give us a thumbs up and uh, place your comment below if you have anything to say about this episode or if you just want to say hi and we hope to see you out there. We'll see you out there. Should we show them what we spotted in the woods in Colorado? Absolutely. Okay, yeah. let's show them. Although, I don't want to scare everyone. It was scary. <laughs> it was really scary. It was scary. scary. Yeah, really scary. So if you want to be scared, stick around for a second. Stick around for a second.